gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Miss Brianne, and welcome back to Coding Fun with Miss Brianne, the brief mini series where I show you all of the different coding toys and computer software and games and robots that we here have to offer at the West Hampton Free Library, as well as it in my own personal collection that eventually when we do reopen, we can try out. You can try out one of these days. Well, as you all know, in my past, in the past several videos that I've done, I had done a whole mini series on Cosmo, where I program Cosmo to perform simple commands or have his cubes perform simple commands. Well, as I mentioned before, we are done with Cosmo for a little while, so he's now back at home, and I may bring him back one of these days, but until then. I'm going to introduce something fun. This is from my own personal collection. I just received these a few months ago. And these are very cool little snap-on circuits called Little Bits. Now, Little Bits was created by a woman named Aya Badir. I hope I got that right in 2008 with the product fully launched in September of 2011 and it was acquired by Spiro in August of 2019 so now Spiro runs the company and creates the bits. Now before I begin I'm just going to let you know we're not going to be building anything with them today. We're not going to be go going over each individual part. We are going to be doing that in the coding craze video program which will be aired two weeks from now on March 15th but until but just so if in the hopes that we can encourage you boys and girls to register for coding craze I'm just gonna provide a quick little talk about the little bits now the little bits are a bunch of snap-on circuits you know, You'll need any wires or dangerous equipment to solder with or screwdrivers or any other tools like that. They snap together with magnets, which makes it very easy to build stuff with involving electronics. Cool, huh? So you could build and create and prototype anything you want and you don't need expensive tools for it. Or dangerous tools. So I have the base inventor kit right here, and there's many different types of kits. And there's special classroom sets if your school has these. I'm not sure if any of you boys and girls have this at your school. But I'm going to open the kit. Now I actually have two of them, the base inventor kit and the rule your room kit, which I will show in Coding Craze. Now like I said, I'm not demonstrating each individual component today. I am just going to review, just give you a brief overview. Now, each little bit is color coded, and each color means something. So we have this little bit here that is blue. I don't know if you boys and girls can see that. It's blue on the outside. And any comp little bit component that's blue is a power component. If you want to power your invention, you're going to need one of these blue components. So remember, blue equals power. Power and the blue component is necessary. Now we have, we have little bits that are pink on the outside. Pink is what we call an input piece. What that means is, in order to have something work, something has to happen with this piece. Now this is what we call a proximity sensor. So it only works if my hand is very nearby. And if it's further away, it doesn't work but something has to be done with this piece in order to get your invention to work. 
So that's called an input. You're putting something into it to have your invention work. So pink means input. It's not necessarily mandatory to have an input piece, but it does help if you want to control your invention. All right. Now we have pieces that have orange on the outside, as you can see here. These orange pieces are called connector or wire components. These are the components that connect from the power and or the input to, your other, to the piece of the invention that makes it work. So it connects from the input or power to the output, and I'll show you the output in a minute. But if you want your invention to work, this component is necessary. You need something to connect to the power. But orange stands for input, for wire or connecting components. Because not all connecting components are, will have wires like this one. And finally, we have little bits that are green, that have green. And we got a little light here. Anything that's green is considered the output. Now the output, what output stands for is that something happens with this piece. Now in this piece, there's a light. So if, if this is connected to the power with the wire components, this light will light up. That's what it means if that something happens to it. That's what it means output. Outputs are necessary if you want your inventions to work. But green stands for output. But anyway, those are the four basic components of the Little Bits kits. There's a lot more. And like I said, I will go over each and every individual piece that I have in my collection in detail. Well, maybe not in full detail, but I will go over each and every piece in the Coding Craze video two weeks from now. But in any event, I hope you have a, this was a great little intro to Little Bits. And next week we're going to be talking a little bit more about little, the next video we'll be talking a little bit more about the little bits. But until then, this is Miss Brianne saying take good care of yourselves, have a great day, and I will see you soon.